Hi, welcome to educator.com and another lesson in Adobe Illustrator CS6. And today we're going to talk about type. So this is going to be part one and there will be part two later um, because there is a lot to cover. So let's get started. So first let's take a look at the tools. Okay, so you have the type tool, uh, which is your basic type tool to create type with, uh, the area type tool, uh, the type on a path tool, and the following three are all vertical. Uh, this, they repeat vertically, so it's the same tools. The first three are horizontal, and the, and the last three are vertical. Okay, now uh, let me show you something here with the type tool. Uh, don't know why I have that there. Okay, now with the type tool, that's something we'll get to later. Uh, if I drag out a box and just type, you know, it ends at the box, and you see here there's a, um, a minus sign in the box. That means there's some overflow, and I'll show you how to deal with that. Uh, a little bit later. Now I can change the type here. No, not change. I can make changes by selecting it. Um, but also, if I just select it, I can still make changes. So I don't need to have uh, everything selected. I can just select it with the selection tool. I don't have to, you know, highlight everything and select it to make some changes. All right, now let me show you another thing with the type. Now, if I just click and have an assertion point and then type, you know, it just goes straight, straight, straight all, all the way across. You know, it doesn't end you know, unless I put a return. Okay, so now let me show you something else here. Okay, so now when I select this, if I try to adjust anything, the type distorts. I also can make it flip and go upside down. So be aware of that. So this is this is something that may come in handy uh, to you at some future point. Okay, so that's the basic type tool. Uh, now that's done. Maybe quickly. Now let's move on to the area type tool. Okay. So now with the area type tool, now let me get this layer open so I can do some stuff. Be on the right layer. Okay. Now with the area type tool, just copy some type here. I'm going to make use of that to demonstrate area type. So I'm going to go down to the area type tool and I can I can select a path on an object and here's their insertion point appearing there and I'm going to paste the copy that I just copy that I just um, and it appears inside here. So let's see what happens when I use Up the vertical type tool, the vertical area type tool. So now I select there, and there's the cursor uh, in where the insertion point will be, and there's your vertical text. Okay, so that is the area type tool. All right, now. Oh, there's one more thing with area type tool I want to show you before I cross that out. Let's see. I uh, have to have it have area some area type going. So let's get some area type going back again. Okay. So now under type area type options, um, you have quite a few things that you can do. You set the width and the height. You can set the rows, the number, how many it's going to span. 
and a column scene for the columns. Also, you can have an inset spacing. So let's say I wanted that to space out so nothing happens. So let me just put a preview here so you can see I can inset the type a little bit. Uh, obviously, there'll be a better selection of type when you're doing it. And I just have to do this quickly so I can get through uh, this tutorial. All right. So, okay, now we're finished with the area type tool. We can officially move on. Okay, so now let's go to type on a path. And I'm going to create kind of a long, irregular path here so you can get the full benefit of what's possible here. So there's my path. And now let me select the path on a tool. So I'm just going to click here where I want to start. So then my blinking insertion point. So that's where the text will start at. And I could, I could um, type in here. But for right now, just to be faster, I'll just paste some type in. And so you can see the type goes right in along the path. And again, we have a little overflow. And again, I promise you, I'll show you how to deal with that later. Well, one way to deal with it is just to shorten the type or change it. Um, but we're, we're getting to that. Okay, so now, again, you can go to uh, the type, type on the path, and type on the path options. And there are different things you can do over here. Rainbow is the default. So there you have skew and put preview on so you can skew the type so it gives some kind of dimensionality, uh, gives it a, a nice look to it depending on what you're doing. Here's ribbon, again trying to flip it in space, gives some sense of uh, that is operating there. And here's stair step, and here's the gravity, like it's being sucked into a black hole. Ah! So. Let me go back to Rainbow, which is the default. Now here's another thing in Adobe that seems to be misnamed. It's called Ascender, but actually it goes below the path. But maybe they mean the ascendant parts of the type face or the font go toward the path. But still, uh, still very confusing. Um, and so Descender puts it above the path. And here you can center it exactly on the path. And here you put it back to the baseline, which is the default. And you can change the spacing. Okay, so that's what you can do there with uh, the type on the path. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to put type in a circle, which has some uh, inherent uh, difficulties in itself. So let's go here. Now the first thing I should be aware of is that anytime you have a path, you can only put type on one path at a time. So for a circle, if I want them to go around a circle, um, and I want it to be readable, so I'm showing you here that this is just one circle, but I'm going to need two circles because I want the circle to go around the top and around the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to make a copy, Command C, and Command F to place in front. So now I have two circles uh, directly in place. So here my type on the path. So now the first thing I'm going to do is make some decisions about what uh, font I want to use. Oops. Okay, so is this selected? Okay. A type on the path. Okay, so now I'll select that. So now let's uh, make this white. So this is a little bit readable. And I'll keep it, keep that there, and make this a uh, 60, and let's make it bold. Okay. So, uh, let's start typing. And holy moly, it's on the side. So, don't fret, don't fret. There's a solution. So we go up here paragraph and we will center this and now it's right on top or where I want it to be okay see I told you not to worry now uh, we're going to um, I'm going to lock this at the selector first before I can lock okay I think it's locked all right 
Okay, now I'm going to put some type on the bottom. So I have to start at the top. I mean, whoever programmed this, they must have been from Bizarro World because everything is opposite. Me, I'm quite happy it is made this way. All right, so here it goes on the bottom. Okay, and that's not, again, not what I want. Heavens to Murgatroyd. So now uh, I want to, this is kind of tricky here because I want to pull this type up uh, to flip it. And you have to wait till you get kind of that, that arrow flip symbol. And if you don't get it exactly, you know, you have problems. So like, yeah, this takes, so I got it right. So now I want it in here. Okay, there. Ah. Okay, let's try it again. So this is not easy to do. Yeah. Okay, let's start here again and try to do it. And I'm using the selection tool. Okay, let's see if I can get this where I want it. Okay, there it is. Oh. Let's make this one more time. There. Okay. And also you saw the the guides. Um, so it's a smart guy, so that helped me know that I was still in the center because I didn't want it to go off on the center. Okay, now um, this is not um, looking too good because they're not quite on the circle. So what I want to do is center this using my type on the path options. So I will center that. So preview, so you can see now that's centered. And while I'm here, let me make that uh, white. Okay, and now let me go back. And center this. Make sure I have the right thing selected. 